In this video, we're going to be discussing the IRS audit and the different stages of an audit. So if you receive a letter from the IRS that indicates you're under audit, this is what you can expect. Typically, audits of small businesses self-employed will last anywhere between six months to a year. And what IRS is looking for is to determine whether your tax return is accurate, whether the income you reported was accurate, and whether the expenses you reported are accurate. IRS will request documents during the audit and information from you, make a determination whether you overstated or understated income and expenses. Now, something a lot some people don't know is IRS has some of this information at the start of the audit already. And we, when we represent companies and individuals who are self-employed in audits, we will typically ask the IRS for a wage and income transcript to verify that the income that's reported on the tax return was the correct amount. So what is on the wage and income transcript? The wage and income transcript includes any W-2s that were reported uh, with your social security number, any 1099s, any K-1s you received that were filed by partnerships and LLCs that had your social security number on there. Um, these are typically filed every year and IRS has a transcript. So we recommend if you are under audit or if you want to verify your tax return before it gets filed, order or call the IRS for a wage and income transcript making sure that all the items of income, and these are typically just income items, are reported on your, uh, on your tax return. Other items that are non-income items would be the 1098 form reported by your mortgage servicing company about the interest that you paid for your mortgage that year. That is also on your, your wage and income transcript. So I hope this information was valuable. My name is John Malikowski. I'm founder of Malikowski Tax Law.